Want to delete old unused chunks in your Minecraft world in order to explore terrain from a new update easier, or just get rid of a build you don't like? I'm Owen from Shogbyte, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to reset chunks in your Minecraft world using MCA Selector. Before we get to deleting chunks, we will need to first download and install the MCA Selector. To do this, head over to the MCA Selector GitHub page, which you'll have linked down in the description. On the main page, look at the right hand side of the page and under releases, click the latest one. Then on the version page, scroll down and under the assets section, select the MCA selector setup.exe. This should then download. Once it is downloaded, click on it to run the installer. Work through all the steps in the installer and then run the MCA selector program. But before I get carried away deleting chunks, we want to be safe so we don't accidentally destroy the world forever by making a backup. To ensure the world is still safe in case there is an issue when updating the world or if something is accidentally deleted that we don't want to, we will make a backup. To do this, open Minecraft and click single player. Select the world that you want to make the backup for and click edit. Then click open backups folder. This is where all the backups of your saves will be located. Head back to the game and click make a backup. Once you have made this backup, you can safely start deleting and resetting chunks of your Minecraft world and always return to the backed up version if something goes wrong. To load your backup, simply move the backed up world file into the game save file and unzip it. Now open MCA selector to begin editing chunks in your Minecraft world. To open your world, go to File and select Open World, and select the world you want to open. A little pop-up window will show and you can select the dimension you want. Select Region or the world name for the overworld, Dim-1 for the Never, and Dim-1 for the End. However, the options for other dimensions will only show if you have visited the Never or the End. If you have only explored the overworld, then no pop-up will show an MCA selector will load straight into the overworld for that save. Right, so let's get started selecting chunks. Left click to select a chunk, and then right click to deselect a chunk, and it'll show orange if you have selected it. You can click and drag to easily select and deselect whole regions, and you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out by scrolling, or clicking with the middle mouse wheel and dragging to pan around the map. Once you have made a selection, you can go to Selection at the top and click Delete Selected Chunks to delete the chunks. To showcase the resetting of chunks, I'm going to delete this little house I built, but keeping this amazing diamond throne. When you revisit these chunks in the game, they will have been completely reset to the default terrain and any changes you have made will be gone, and potentially generate new terrain if you load the world in a newer updated version of the game. There are a bunch of extra features that MCA Selector has that are super useful. A simple one is at the top, there is a slider to change the Y level at which you view your world. This is a must for being able to see things in the nether due to the bedrock ceiling, and also allows you to look at caves underground in the overworld. You can add overlays into the map to see different variables by going to Tools, Edit Overlays, then adding a new overlay and selecting a variable. I'm going to choose Inhabited Time as an example, putting in a minimum and a maximum time, and then enabling it. And there we can now see a cool color gradient of how long I've spent in parts of the world. These variables are also super useful in helping you automatically select portions of your world to either delete or delete everything else. By going to Tools and then Filter Chunks, you can select a variable like the Inhabited Time one and say pick any chunks that you've spent greater than five minutes in and click OK. This might take a bit of time depending on how many chunks but it will have selected all of the chunks that you've spent more than five minutes in. You can then go to Selection and click Invert to select all the chunks that you have spent less time in, or you could select the less than symbol when using the Filter Chunks option to select any chunks that you've spent less than a specified amount of time in. 
But don't worry, you can still manually select additional chunks or deselect some of the chunks that were automatically selected by the filter. You can just do this by the left and right clicking like we did earlier. Then you can delete this selection like before by going to selection at the top and clicking delete selected chunks. There is also another great feature under the selection menu to export the chunks that you have selected so you can save just the chunks that you are building for example. You should now know how to use MCA selector to leap the chunks in your Minecraft world. If you found this video useful then please let us know by leaving a like and comment below and subscribe to ShopBite for more game and game server tutorials like this one.